Hey guys! Back with another video on SFS2. This time, Steph has shared a bunch of small but intricate details about the game, and there's a lot to unpack. We've got day and night cycles on Earth and Mars, a new world map, re-entry effects, images of the Venus surface, new explosion animation and many more. Let's first take a look at the day and night cycle. This is a short time-lapse posted by Steph on Discord. You can also see the newly added cloud movement. Even the stars move, along with the moon. In this video the moving clouds are more clearly visible. This is how it looks from above. I believe there will be a way for us to control the weather. Because in some video, we see heavy clouds, and in some we see a clear sky. And here are a few more stunning shots of the sunset. Now let's take a look at the new Earth model. It now features an accurate world map, complete with mountains, and snow based on latitude. Let's hope we can set the launch complex in our own country, or make our own launch complex anywhere we want. I believe this is a demo video as the Earth doesn't have any clouds. The color and texture of the terrain will improve later on. It looks way more realistic, especially with the clouds. The launch complex now seems like a mix between Starbase and KSC. Here's what it's going to look like. It looks like it's inspired by the coastline of the Starbase. We even have a flame deflector at the launch site, along with a smoke effect, which Steph mentioned will be improved in the future. You can also spot the aerodynamic effects in these photos and videos. The engine nozzles now remain red hot even after being shut off, until they cool down. Now, moving on to the re-entry effects. I could only find two videos posted on the Discord server. Both look quite different from each other. The first video shows glowing particles coming off the spacecraft. This video was posted recently. Whereas this older video doesn't show glowing particles, but the rest looks nearly identical. It could be that the glowing particles does not come off from heat shields and capsules. We also finally got to know the minimum specs required to run the game. It can run on a phone with 2GB of RAM, on the lowest settings. This is how it looks on lowest setting. Pretty good in my opinion. This is how the explosion will look like in vacuum. It seems that the cloud particles expands more in vacuum, which looks realistic. I am not sure why we do not see any fire in this smoke cloud. Maybe the smoke cloud stays a bit longer, and the photos is taken after the fire. Now, let's look at some changes in the build area. We can now add custom colors, in the game. This is how the new controls will look, very similar to the old SFS. And yes, part clipping is still possible. Here's a look at the part sticking animation. Just like Earth, Mars will also have a day and night cycle. Not sure if every planet will have one though. So far, Steph has only showcased it for Earth and Mars. 
we also got our first look at the surface of Venus. These visuals are inspired by the historic images from the Venera landers which is the only photos we have from Venus. Stay tuned for more updates on SFS2. Thanks for watching.